Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mighty and we are watching Bad Girls Club today. Episode 3 of the first season. Now, last episode, oh my god, I don't even know what to say to that. That episode was a mess. Not just because of what was happening, but the fact that you can see just how much production didn't want to interrupt for some reason. You're just gonna let this completely blacked out girl just attack two cast members and, and really leave her mark on them like that. I think the producers really just don't want to get involved so it looks more authentic but in doing so you are not you're not protecting your cast members like that so today i guess we find out if ripsy goes home or not oh my god <laughs> ripsy they keep showing her like just fall on her face i won't leave you i don't remember this it's down either she goes or or i go i feel like she's struggling really hard to cry thing is if you don't i don't remember it if i remembered it then i would say oh you know what? I'm doing something wrong. I am. Why is she laughing at her getting mad about people scolding her for something she did wrong? If it happened before, then I'll say I was unstable. Don't make your little comments. I didn't. Throw, Don't judge me. I didn't throw a fist. Just shut up. I didn't throw a fist, sweetheart. She did though. Well, maybe you should see a psychiatrist. It's like, bitch, shut up. That comment really hurt her. You can't sit there and say that you're sorry about it and then get mad when the people have an attitude towards you. They have a right to have an attitude towards you. Like, you look at her face because of you for no reason. The fact that she's getting even more mad, you're you're proving her right. I come from the most privileged background you can ever I imagine, don't, and I don't act this privilege. way. I don't come from a privileged exactly. background. Exactly, and that's pretty obvious. Just shut up and move. Yeah, I don't think she was really apologizing to her. More so Carrie. Carrie, I cannot even explain it. And if you want me to leave, I respect that. I'm not I'm not staying if you stay. I mean, I don't feel safe Carrie, with you here. Me. I'm sorry. It's just so wild that they get to decide this season. Who's going to be my partner in crime? <laughs> Seriously. I can't do this without you. No, you could. This is really wild that they get attached this fast to somebody. I'm sad that she won't be able to go through this process because I think Ripsy had a lot to learn. Yeah, but it's best that she leaves because what can you learn here? My parents are gonna themselves. I know. Is she just gonna wear that home? I feel like she had a bunch of time to change. Like, you know, she drank in that outfit. She fell in the pool in that outfit. She rolled around the floor in that outfit. She went to bed in that outfit. Let's take a shower. Bye, Ripsy. Knowing you for four days was great because you gave me a Nicole Miller dress. That's all I had to do was know you for four days. Thank you. <laughs> so it's four days. Okay, she changed her outfit. Yeah, Good. Go. Same. There That's what go. I be doing. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have somebody leaving the beginning of the third episode. It's crazy. I think in later seasons she would have she would have stayed. Who knows if I can handle this without my Ripsy? I mean, she was fun, but I don't know if it was that serious, girl. <laughs> I could go out with my friends, but there's a void in there. I've been looking for something. Maybe you fill that with alcohol. I mean, I hope she's doing well now. It's been it's been 17 years since this aired. I hope she's in a good place. She split her wardrobe up and gave half to me and half to Zara. No, I got she that. did not. Let me see what you guys stop playing. She's mad she didn't get any. <laughs> I don't know why her boyfriend flew out here. Carrie wasn't dropping dead of anything. She had a few scratches on her. Big deal. Amy's such a hater. <laughs> this is Amy. Amy. Sweet to Hello, Amy. Nice to meet you. <laughs> All right. Welcome to the loony bin. <laughs> this looks so boring. And chased me and attacked me. What? What? Chased you and attacked you? She did. She did. She was looking for her. Get she kicked the shit out of her. <laughs> the worst part, though, was that I felt like nobody would get her off of me. Right. They were trying. They were trying real hard. Amy was grabbing her by the fucking the head. To where he wants a commitment, but I'm not ready to commit. I haven't really given myself the opportunity to really explore. She wants to explore. Yeah. And he's such a sweetheart. He is. He wants to get married. I'm just not ready yet. He's a good man, Carrie. He's like selling lizards. What do you do? I, I bought one once like a very, very long time ago. Oh my god, apparently people buy them to eat them. <laughs> <laughs> I just, he's funny. He actually has a great personality. We don't know if he snaps or not. She got him? Oh my god. Them shits used to be like 25 cents on the street. 
What's six hundred dollars for me, honey? Oh, she's rich. Six hundo in two thousand six. Is after this whole thing, if I don't choose to be with David. Oh look, she was getting ready for her interview. I'm a little concerned about Carrie, only because I don't know where I fit in or where I'm gonna fit in. The boyfriends never did like confessionals like that. They were just in the confessional room. Is that where they are actually? I just feel like someone asked them a question. That's so sad. I hope she's like happy, go lucky, like Ruthie, but not like psychotic. Yeah. Oh fuck! I forgot they have to get they have to get a new roommate. Who are we meeting her today? I want you to know that I'm glad you're here. Well, I'm glad that you tell me that because I wouldn't know if you didn't express that. I'm sorry. I have that issue too. I could be having the most fun. I feel like you guys see it sometimes, and my face just doesn't show it. I was incredibly drunk, and I didn't realize how serious the situation was. I don't believe that. Amy's the only one that pulled her off of her. No, Ty was trying. Crazy it makes me. Who who allows that? Leslie to was laughing about it. Okay. But Ty was trying. Amy was trying. No, I feel like Leslie actually was trying to in in like the kitchen hallway area. But no, she is right. Ripsy wasn't really apologetic to towards her. She was more apologetic to towards Carrie, which makes me think that she genuinely didn't like Jody. I guess for the comments about her drinking, but everyone also made the same comments besides Ty and Leslie and obviously Zara. But she wasn't there. She's saying like, I feel like no one was like getting her off her. But no. When they were fighting, they were getting her off. And then when she went up the stairs, no one was around. They kind of left her and then they wanted to do other stuff. And then Carrie was coming downstairs. Ripsy just caught her in the stairs and then she attacked her again. Again, they helped her get her off. They had their little scuffle in like the living room, kitchen type of area. People were getting her off there. Am I like missing something? I feel like everyone helped. Maybe not Leslie when she was laughing at it, but I feel like even she was helping because she had to. Meanwhile, the day before, she's crying her eyes out because she lost a shoe because she felt like nobody in the house had her back. I think she did and she wasn't there to say anything. But there's a reason also why Leslie didn't want to jump in because she, she expected something back. I kind of get why she didn't want to again, but she still did, in my opinion. But now all of a sudden, I'm thinking, you know what, I think I'm feeling okay, so you can fly back home if you want to. It's kind of mean to use like your actual boyfriend and just dismiss him like that. I hope y'all did not step oh on my Versace. God, Versace. I'm just gonna go around the back. What's your name? Zara. Zara, I'm Steve. Zara. I keep saying her name wrong. Let's go peek at him. Let's go off the balcony. Poor boy. We have a poor boy. There's the poor boy. Two of those women have boyfriends. One just left. If I like Carrie watched... and Jody look like they're feeling much better because um there's a cute pool boy. And also Ripsy's gone though, but I don't know, if I watch my boyfriend do that, I think I'd be super hurt. Steve is definitely my type. I mean, he's nice to look at. <laughs> Alright, see a bad girl. Yeah, we have to take you upstairs. You have a boyfriend who just jumped on a plane to come make sure you're okay. He goes crazy. Hey, baby. He's all type of red on him. Hey, baby. Hey, Give him a kiss. I do. Not. <laughs> Not these lips. Also, why would she buy him if she doesn't have any type of setup for him? Drag the cute boy. I love attention. I like to flirt. I still want to have a good time. To me, it's harmless fun. I hope her boyfriend watched that and flirted with every girl he saw in front of her. I'd like to see if she feels the same way. Steve seems like a fun guy. And we're going to meet him out at a club called Mood. Your eye looks better. I'm really good. Oh my god, the eyeshadow brush. Like a little flat, cheap brush. I used to do like smoky eyes with my finger. There was no Morphe 406. Yeah, she'd be single if I was her boyfriend. I see his friend Tommy, and he's a very good dancer. He's hot. Not my type. She always does her little. I don't really know what, what they were listening to. Being I too really wish I knew boy, what they were listening to. I'm worried about nobody else's life except my life. She say, "Find some hater ass shit." She's so awkward, but I think it's because she wants the attention, but she's too scared to like kind of admit it. So she has to act like, "Ew, what are you even doing?" 
Oh, they're so shady, but not even. Because, like, how dare you make that man jump on the plane to go be like, are you okay? And then do that to him. Okay, that was a very kind of more chill episode aside from, like, the potential cheating and then Ripsy getting kicked off the show. Or not even kicked off. I don't know. Like, I guess agreeing to leave because of what she did to Carrie. Not even Jody so much. I think Jody saying that it's messed up that nobody stopped. Ripsy was not really a fair point because she wasn't there so she has no idea all the other girls except for leslie in some situations did try to get that girl off of her but it's like she'd be like on the floor and be like get her off of me like girl just get up and leave carrie is not this helpless helpless woman i feel like she could have made a little bit more of an effort to get up and walk away but she kind of expected everyone else to do it for her what a sticky situation a day later she's fine and is about to cheat on her boyfriend thank you so much for watching let me know what you thought down below and i will see you next time bye